Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. If you're wondering, yes, I am reading the following because it is too important for me to mess it up. Little over four years ago, I was diagnosed with something that can reduce your ability to live, drop your self-confidence and blurs the hunt for your dreams. A chronic disease attacking your skin, your nails and most annoyingly, your joints. In this video, I will be talking about my life with a psoriatic arthritis. To get a deeper understanding behind my path to this day, let's start four and a half years ago when I made the decision to book a flight to California. It was just the end of my second semester in university and I felt lost. Not really sure what the goals were in my life. Studying physics? <laughs> For what? And to summarize, I was just not really happy at the moment. Seeing people getting drunk, changing relationships on a monthly basis, and just their way of enjoying life made me question who I really am and if I am different. I pushed myself to the limit with a very unstructured bike trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back, hoping to find my meaning of life and happiness. Luckily, I had a friend with me who was not only a very good motivator, but also capable of going through this chaos trip with me. It was a crazy experience and also the beginning of the first vlogging I have ever done. But just when I thought I understood life, my physical health decreased. Ankle pain in the right foot. It's going to be fine, I thought and continued my life to the lecture halls for weeks. Well, after a month, it was both feet, crippling my ability to walk. Did I visit a doctor up till now? Yes, I did. Blood was taken, x-rays and CTs were made, but nothing had been found. Months have passed with my health going down to eating painkillers in the morning and somehow managing to walk with crutches to the lectures. I had reached a point where the pain has now spread to my fingers and my back. I was weak and wondered if this is the way my life is going to end. Just shortly before the COVID outbreak, an orthopedist made the decision to send me to the hospital. My last hope. In less than three days, I have done tests that I have never even heard about before. Injecting radioactive material in my blood Sure, measuring my bone density, where can I sign? <laughs> In the end, I got filled up with pills, cortisone, gastroprotection drugs and painkillers. Did I know what I was exactly taking? No, but I had given up about caring as long as it helped. After a week, the diagnosis came. Psoriatic arthritis. Wow. I only thought old people can get this, so googling was actually the first thing that came to my mind. But even after reading that I had a non-curable disease, I was not capable of understanding what that really means for my life. Did I feel any pain under the medication weeks after leaving the hospital? No. So why thinking about the consequences? And then there was this medication called MTX. Something really, really nasty. Also used for chemotherapy and the one and only pill my whole body was resisting against. It was the worst taking it. But besides this, life actually felt great. My health was fuddled to be good. And even though the COVID pandemic began, it was probably the best year of my life so far. Because after going through all of this, I fell in love and it seemed like nothing could stop me from living. A road trip through Scandinavia was planned and wow, what a nature and freedom Sweden and Norway have to offer, manifesting my future on that trip. However, as life is always a roller coaster, my health decreased again by the end of 2020 leading to a change of medication. 
But thank God, because this change was a key moment. I got away from that weekly MTX pill and went to injecting something called Cosantix on a monthly base into my leg. My health rised back up quick and stayed good for so long that I cannot even remember when it got worse again. Yes, I still used small doses of cortisone here and there, but I could definitely not complain. As time has passed, however, the pain came back. But this time, it was my heart that ached. After many months of small ups and high downs, the woman I used to call my future wife was gone. And with that, my dreams. Left was just an empty shell of the person I used to be. And to this day, I believe that without the week-long daily support of my friends, I would not be sitting here. I dropped back to the point of questioning the meaning of happiness and life. And never in my life did I feel so alone with the thoughts stuck in my head. But all of this is a story for itself. Many months had passed and I realized that stories just like the one I'm telling you right now are my drive to survive. I started planning crazy trips through Germany, trips over the New Year's Eve to different countries and I opened up a German YouTube channel to share my stories with the world. I even repeated the same bike trip through California just now with more than one friend. Did I feel happy during all that time? Well, I cannot really tell you the answer to that, but I definitely had a fun time doing it. And also, with all of that, slowly my dreams and goals in life grew back. But what does this all now have to do with my daily life with arthritis? Well, can you not see the pattern yet? No worries, I will continue and give you a short summary. One year ago, I had realized that I don't see a happy future for me as a physicist nor an astronomer. I was writing my master's thesis at the time and I had to make a decision fast. What am I going to do with my life? And will it be in Germany or in Sweden or somewhere totally different? Also, my health situation had reached a constant level of pain over the months. Once or twice a bad sleep per week, waking up with back pain, shoulder pain and sore fingers, just to name a few. When all came together, however, with failed job searches, I went straight back down to feeling lost. Oh look, I could start working at a startup in Hamburg, but nope, my family thought that I'm throwing away my life and will end up under a bridge. After realizing this subconscious influence of my family, I knew I had to get out of Germany as soon as possible, leaving basically everything behind. Friends, family, and a lot of memories. From here on, you know how the story goes. I created this YouTube channel to document my new story and give you guys an insight into my roller coaster of life. Yeah. Okay, now, after all of this talk, I can tell you that I'm actually not in a good health condition at the moment. My fingers are swollen and I'm not even able to fully move them. Like when I want to make fists, I cannot, like some fingers just cannot move. My hips and shoulders are hurting. Every, every morning I wake up around 3 a.m. due to the pain that I feel when moving in bed on my shoulders and everywhere. When trying to stand up, my back feels like a wooden blank that just breaks if I try to bend it. And let's not even talk about the pain of putting a t-shirt on or even socks. This disease is really no fun. Most of the time I also need a knife to open up cans or the caps of plastic bottles. I need six attempts when standing up from the couch or the bed and if I fall on the ground, I can be happy if there is something nearby where I can put my elbow on to use my shoulder to push myself up. And then there is the problem with self-confidence. Well, 
What does the cute girl at work think when I come walking in pain to her to ask her out? Does she think I am the German Quasimodo? <laughs> Only future will tell. But why do I have so much pain right now? Well, first of all, mental stress. Going through all that with the bangs can definitely trigger pain. Second of all, every individual joint that I stress, be it the ankles due to long uneven hikes or the hands due to crafting at work, can also trigger pain. And the biggest reason, well, I have not used my monthly medication as I should. The needles, Cosentix, needs to be cooled during storage. And unfortunately, the transportation in a constantly cooled environment between Germany and Sweden, let it be like 16 hours so spontaneously, is just not possible. Which is why I have used my trips back to Germany over Christmas and also last week as a trip for my medication. And before you write down that yes, of course there are cooling cases and the aircraft might store medication, I know all of that. And if I would have not been too lazy, it might not be such a big problem with the transportation. But good news is, I have one medication now here in my fridge in Sweden. As I have read that it is possible to transport the medication for up to four days uncooled. Well, we will see how it looks when I will be planning on taking it. May it be in one month or in two months. Also, I am finally able to receive my salary pretty soon. I hope next week. And then I am able to see a Swedish doctor and hope that I can get the medication here in my town without worrying about the whole transportation anymore. But things like this just were a gamble that I had to take when moving to Sweden. But now let's bring this video to an end and sum it up. Yes, I am in pain a lot right now especially in the mornings. I'm using 5 mg of cortisone a day and hope to muddle along with painkillers till I can boost myself back up with the Swedish uh, Cosentix on a monthly base. But this video is not meant to gain your compassion and sympathy because something that I have learned after going through the biggest downs in my life is that my will to achieve anything is stronger than the devil inside playing with my health. And that's what I wanted to share. There are a lot of dreams that I have. Some of them are just fun ideas like making my own Epra Dunk song or appearing in a minor role in a future Star Wars movie. Traveling dreams like going to Greenland or Alaska or even Antarctica. But also challenges like the bike trips, to prove myself that I have this strong will. Maybe I will go for a full circle on a bike around the Australian coast. Or maybe I will be sailing around the whole globe. My life is probably way too short to fulfill everything that just comes to my mind. But in the end, I am just a guy who dreams of having a happy life, a happy wife and children. Yes. Okay, well, enough talking now from me. If you guys have crazy dreams or ideas you want to share with me or the whole world, feel free to write them in the comments or leave me a message on Instagram. I know I am not alone with my disease and we all have some kind of inner demons that we are fighting against and we are training our strong will to achieve our dreams. Because dreams are the fuel that run our engines. <laughs>